Hey, I'm Thibaut Laporte. Hi, I'm Rajiv Satyal. I am Ben Cheyenne. Hello, I'm Juliet Myers. Hi, I'm Hersha Satyal. Dating is an enigma. I still have not figured out. I've just figured out that it is indeed an enigma. <laughs> dating <laughs> is cheating, because I'm married. So. <laughs> so, dating's gone. No, I still date my wife, still take her out on dates, so that's that. But yeah, while I was single, I'd say it was an adventure. That'd probably be the word I would use. I'm a little more confused after your answer. <laughs> <laughs> the whole enigma thing is, I feel like dating is what you make of it, really. Uh, when I when I thought dating was the standard, like, you know, meet a girl, invite her to dinner, whatever, it was total misery. I hated that type of dating. And then when I just turned dating into, you know, I'm just, it's, just go have fun with someone, uh, or try to anyway. That, that, that's, that's, you know, that's what I try to make it, anyway. I agree with him. Um, it used to be kind of like a structured thing where you go on one date, you meet the person, if they fit this thing and you have like a spark, then you go on a different date, you know. But for me, I, I always do the interview first, you know. I, I really don't want to waste my time and I don't really care. I'll tell them, like, hey, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm not a teenager now and I'm not going to waste your time. You're definitely not going to waste my time. This is what you need to have. Mm -hmm. This is what I have for you. If you don't have it, peace, block and delete. So, you know, we go, <laughs> we'll do a Starbucks meetup. And if that works, then we'll go do something fun. I, I appreciate the fun thing. The going to dinner, it just, it just sucks because there's a honeymoon phase. And I think that um, once you get past the honeymoon phase, you get the real person. Mm. And I think like ac regular activities that create real emotion bring people's real person out. So like something that's going to make you really laugh, something that's going to make you cry or something that's going to bring out anger, any of those like real emotions brings out the real person because I really want to see how you are when you're extremely happy, how you are when you're extremely mad, how you would, you know, what, what your religious preferences and stuff are, are you down to having, you know, a relationship, or are you just trying to have fun, which I respect, I can certainly do that, um, but that's not for me, you know, but I'm, I'm down for honesty, so, yeah, honest fun. Yeah, I think I've had a similar experiences to like what everyone has said is at the beginning it was all kind of a story where you've learned that you should go out on the date enjoy yourself and have that romantic adventure um, but then it comes down to the reality of what are what am I doing am I really <laughs> learning anything about this person am I doing anything good for myself am I having fun am I enjoying myself and you come to the bit of yeah okay, I'm sorry, you're wasting all my time, <laughs> and I need to go down to these questions, and no, and then you, we got into the, the land of online dating, and it became that opportunity mm -hmm. of just like narrowing down the field, who's really going to get to what I want in the rest of my life, and then proceeding forward, and so, you know, for me, I went through both aspects, and it was fun for the romantic adventure dinner date thing, but you didn't get to what you really wanted for the rest of your life until you got to down to specifics. Yeah. You know, I, I, as an addendum to what I said earlier, that you have to be careful because f for a while I was like, well, I'm going to pick an activity that I, find, that I enjoy and, in, and invite a girl on a date. And, and so the problem is if I go to a movie, or I like the movie, or I go to a place I like to eat, I like the meal, and then it would, I'd end up, associating them with that experience yeah. <laughs> and so suddenly they're they're elevated whereas the, 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 the advantage of actually just going to a coffee shop or whatever with them is that you you really just get them so I almost feel like you should do that once or twice before you try the fun thing because otherwise you're you're getting a, um, you're not really seeing who they are you're just enjoying yourself and, I mean, and they yeah. happen to be there yeah I mean, Ernest Hemingway, right? You gotta quote him in these things, I feel like. Ernest Hemingway said, um, never mistake motion for action. And I love that. I love that quote. Uh, not action like that on a date, since we're talking about dating. But the idea of, <laughs> there, could just, there could be that. I, think, I don't know if that's what he was talking about. But it was just the idea of, you can cover, th things, cover a lot of things that are wrong up with just stuff. But if you just sit across from each other, then you see what you have. But I do, uh, Ju Juliet, mm -hmm. I do agree with you too, which is that, do something where emotions are heightened and you can bring something out, but then you also need your downtime and you get to see what the person's really like. Everyday. Everyday stuff, you know. Yeah, I think um, 
Chris Rock, he's, he's not uh, like Ernest Hemingway and Chris Rock go together pretty well, but Chris Rock said that when you're in the beginning, you're meeting each other's representatives, which I love. Exactly. You're meeting each other's representatives. <laughs> Honey yes. That's, That's so when the makeup good. stays on. You yeah. don't yeah. take yeah. none of that off. Yeah. You yeah. don't fart. Fart in front of the person. Mm. Exactly. You know, if you have to use a bathroom, number two, mm. you go outside, you go find a gas station. <laughs> Can cancel the date. Yeah, yes. yeah exactly. Do that. Yeah, absolutely. Don't do any of that. Yeah. 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 Straight up, we don't let the fat go. Oh, we don't show them that at all. Yeah, that, yeah. that takes a while. It's 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 uh, it's it's very uh, it's daunting just because uh, you know I, one of the things that's amazing in LA is that you get to meet so many other cultures and all that. But there's there's a samurai saying I forget how it goes exactly, but the more you study other people's ways, the more in accord you are with your own. Mm. And I feel like that's very much the case when you're the more experience you have with different cultures, different ethnicities and all that, then the more you kind of realize uh, this is what I'd like in a wife, uh, this is what I want in a family, and, and that, and, and all, it's like, it's it's really like, I feel like Indiana Jones when he like steps into that chasm, it's that leap of faith, because it's like, it seems like the, the, mm. the probability you're going to meet that person becomes more and more narrow as you realize what you want and who you are, and, uh, and it's either like, you know, you decide not to settle, or you just hope that it'll happen <laughs> get online i think if you are single i'm not saying that to you for indiana jones yeah, yeah no, just generally face value not yeah, yeah i have an indiana jones analogy too but i'll i'll, I'll skip it and save it for another day but i would say no I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you but uh but no basically get online i think it's you know if you're single and you're happy being single be single there's no i'm not judging that at all i didn't get married till i was 38 39 um but you know, I, I met someone the, recently, as, well, I really want to find someone, but I was like, well, what sites are you on? Well, I don't want to do it that way. Well, you're an idiot. I mean, really, honestly, in this day and age, it's 2017. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to meet the person online, but improve your chances, because you've got to find other people. It's like when you go to look for someone and you're trying to meet someone somewhere, look for someone who's looking for someone. Someone who's looking in a book looking like this isn't the person you're trying to meet because the person isn't trying to find anyone. You know, you're looking for someone who's going like this too what, that you're going to find that person they're, online. What if they're reading a romance novel? That's true. Uh, that may be yeah. and reading the same one and you're on the same page. And literally. Literally the same page. So that's exactly it. Take it away. <laughs> um, let's see. I think that I've been told different things and um, you know, my one friend said for men it's the right time. For women it's the right man. Mm. So it's like, you just have to hope that both can meet simultaneously, mm. you know? Mm. And um, I think, cause for me personally, like, I used to be overweight. I used to have even less hair than I do now. But I actually lost all the weight. I figured out a way to enhance my hair. I'll tell that about you later. <laughs> and I decided, like, I'm going to make the changes that I want to see in myself, not for anyone else but me. And then once I do that, mm. then I'll at least be at a better place where I like who I am. Mm -hmm. So make the changes that you want to see within yourself before mm. you meet someone. Yeah. You'll be ready. I agree with what he was just saying. I also think that um, because of uh, I have like three different jobs. One of them, I'm a nurse, and I see uh, babies coming in, and and I've been there in somebody's last birth, and life is short. And the lessons I've learned from some of my elder patients is, you know, communication is key, and you really got to learn to just be honest with one another, completely honest and that's why these talk shows I think are, are really getting paid because people are not honest they're coming and being honest on the show so if you're honest and you communicate and you have fun and you love yourself I think it actually will be a fun fun experience and definitely meet people who are looking for the same thing you're looking for following along those lines I think at the end of the day trust your gut no matter what date you go on no matter what experience you go through your gut is going to tell you whether it's right or not, and just follow that instinct. Mm 